Welcome to the NARM. More specifically, Bad Company 2 Vietnam, probably the best DLC that's ever been released for a Battlefield title. The map you're looking at is called Operation Hastings, and there's actually a story behind this whole DLC, and I just thought I'd detail that before I really get into what I want to talk about today. Bad Company 2 Vietnam is a standalone DLC for Battlefield Bad Company 2. It wasn't part of the VIP program, or what Premium was called back then. VIP program was actually free, whereas the Bad Company 2 Vietnam DLC actually cost a little bit of money. I think it was like £10 or $15 or something like that. But you got access to four maps at the start, moving to a fifth map, Operation Hastings, after you completed an assignment. Can't actually remember what that was, but it was a community assignment, and you unlocked a fifth map. And it came fully equipped with everything that you'd expect from a Vietnam setting. That includes specific weapons, nice character models, vehicles, you name it, it was in there. It was a complete departure from Bad Company 2, and DICE kept it very quiet. But as I said, it got a massively huge reception from the community. For those of you that didn't get to experience what an amazing DLC this is, and in fact Bad Company 2 altogether, because I know there are a lot of people out there that subscribe to my channel that sort of picked up Battlefield franchise around BF3 and BF4, but for those of you that didn't get to play Bad Company 2 and the Vietnam DLC, then I do feel very sorry for you. To quote Apocalypse Now, you don't know man, you weren't there. This game was really good fun. Sure, it had its flaws, and we'll talk about those in a minute, but overall, this was an amazing DLC, and it came at such a good time for the franchise. And that's why I wanted to talk about it today, because looking at Final Stand from Battlefield 4, I can see a lot of similarities between that DLC, which focuses around 2142, and the Vietnam DLC for Bad Company 2, which focuses around the old game, Battlefield Vietnam. Looking at the Vietnam DLC for Bad Company 2, a lot of people don't feel that the Bad Company series is what they would call a true Battlefield title, but by no means does it mean that it's not a great title. A lot of people actually regard it as one of the best games in the franchise, but a lot of Battlefield veterans didn't feel it was a fully-fledged Battlefield title. So I think the decision was made at some point along the way, or maybe it was more by luck than judgement, that they introduced this Vietnam aspect into Bad Company 2, and somehow managed to draw back a lot of the community that thought that it wasn't really a title that was worth their time. Giving them four maps to begin with, and a fifth one, which is unheard of for a sort of a current DLC for a Battlefield title, sort of gave the community a little bit of sense that DICE still believed in the old way of Battlefield, introducing some of those battlefields that we've come to know and love. And I think that's exactly the same that what's happened with Final Stand for Battlefield 4. They recognised that a lot of people liked the older style of Battlefield titles. A lot of people think that Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 haven't gone in the greatest direction for the franchise, and it probably really depends on what game you played first. If you were sort of introduced to the franchise all the way back at the start with 1942, then I think that introducing these DLCs is probably a great thing for guys like you because you'll probably remember those older games. Whereas the guys that are newer to the franchise, i.e. people that jumped in and BF3 and BF4, have had a very negative perception on these DLCs, and that was exactly the same for Vietnam. Not a lot of people really understood why they introduced a Vietnam aspect. And I think that you'd probably have to have stayed with the franchise long enough to know the reasons behind why they included these two DLCs. Overall, I think there's no harm in a developer recycling some of their older games and putting them into newer ones. I think it's a great tactic. I mean, look at Final Stand. There are some things in there that people have been really clamouring for ever since BF4 was announced. A lot of people found it strange that we went straight from BF3 to BF4. I found it strange as well. I thought we were going to be seeing Bad Company 3 or something like that. But introducing a themed DLC for 2142 has rekindled a lot of people's belief in the game and has given them something to celebrate, because let's be honest, Battlefield 4 hasn't had the best time. But as I said, these DLCs don't come without their problems. They're not going to be exactly the same as what people remember playing sort of five, six years ago in these older games that they absolutely loved. We know that in BF4, Final Stand is going to be nowhere near the same as 2142. And we damn well know that Bad Company 2 Vietnam is nothing like Battlefield Vietnam. They're completely different. But the settings are there, the ideas behind it are there, 
And I really appreciate when developers do that, just to install a little bit more back into a into a game that is coming towards the end of its life cycle and is kind of losing its appeal a little bit. But then to just install a little bit of confidence, a little bit of nostalgia into what is a great game, I think that's pretty awesome. If you haven't played Bad Company 2 Vietnam and you've got it on Steam or you've got it on PS3, Xbox 360, if you've got it, I do encourage you to try and find a game and give it a go. I mean, the map that I'm playing in the background, Operation Hastings, it was only 6v6 and maybe maximum 8v8 on a large conquest map. But I really enjoyed it because it gave me some great sniping opportunities and there was a lot of nostalgia there. Started to creep in towards the end as to things I mean, in Bad Company 2 on the PC that just didn't work very well. I mean, anybody would know that their hitboxes in Bad Company 2 were so big that you could snipe between someone's legs and you'd still get the kill. So you do notice some of sort of the imperfections of the game, but if you want to have a good time and you want to go back to something that was truly amazing for the Battlefield franchise, then Bad Company 2 Vietnam is not a bad place to go. But anyway, thank you very much for watching today guys, make sure you leave a rating down below and leave me your comments about 2142 Final Stand DLC and what you think about Bad Company 2 Vietnam, make sure you leave all your comments down below. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.